video lecture that deals on the lecture series of the vehicle maintenance and the garage practice. In this video, we will learn about the diagnosis, causes, and the remedies of those diagnoses in the case of the engine common problems. Right, the diagnosis and causes of the other vehicle components such as gearbox, clutch and other components that we already discussed while we were discussing the maintenance and overloading of those components. Now in the case of the common problems which are associated with our engine problems, that causes and remedies of those problems will be discussed in this video. So, let's see first which are the different problems that is related to our engine. The problem that is associated to our engine can be a high fuel consumption or also there can be a high engine oil consumption. If also the engine oil pressure that is being transferred in the engine is if the lower then the low engine oil pressure is one of the problems with that the lubrication will not be proper if the engine oil pressure is not getting properly also the overheating of the engine that is a problem of the engine if the engine is getting overheated then there are very serious long term problems to the engine and the last thing is the poor pickup of the vehicle Right. If the pickup of the vehicle is poor, then the driving of the vehicle will not be as good as it should be. So the pickup of the vehicle should be proper. So let's discuss the problems or the causes of these problems. The first thing is the high fuel consumption. There are many factors which affect the consumption of the fuel. And the fuel consumption as we always want should be as low as possible. Right? That will give you the high average of the vehicle. Whenever we buy the vehicle, we want the highest average of the vehicle. That can be obtained if the consumption of the fuel is lower. First problem can be if the air fuel ratio that is being supplied in the vehicle is not proper. Right, the air fuel ratio can be weak or rich mixture. If the engine is getting the richer mixture, then that richer mixture can have some unburnt particle after the operation of engine. And that can cause an extra burning of the fuel compared to the power which is generated from the vehicle. So generally for the higher range, we keep our air fuel ratio in the leaner range. Second thing is the bad spark plug. If the spark plug is bad, then also the consumption can be lower. How that can work is that if the intensity from the spark plug is not proper and the flame that needs to be generated with the help of spark plug is not properly generated, then hold the air plus fuel in the engine combustion chamber is not getting work. Again because of that, there will be some unburnt components of our fuel and the fuel will be extra burnt. If the tire pressure is incorrect, right, that is indirectly connected to our fuel consumption. If the tire pressure is not proper, if the tire is underrated, then the road contact between tire and road surface will be increased and because of that, the traction will be used and the power that needs to be transmitted from the wheels to the road will be reduced. Because of that indirectly the fuel consumption will be increased. If the injectors in the case of diesel engine, if they are bad, then there can also be a higher fuel consumption. If the injector is not supplying the diesel whenever we require, then for the start the slower amount of the diesel will be inserted when the flame is generated at that time the diesel should be inserted in the more quantity so that quantity should be maintained by the help of the injectors and if that proper quantity is not maintained then the fuel consumption can be higher next thing is if we are doing the too much acceleration or too much braking like there are habit of some drivers to accelerate suddenly to a vehicle or to suddenly break the vehicle. 
generally the braking should be used as low as possible right but there are some cases where brakes is required to be used so at that time the braking should be applied gradually not suddenly whenever we are using acceleration to braking in too much cases that cases will give you the fuel consumption at the higher side also if there is too much idling right idling means to keep the vehicle in the steady condition but the engine is in running condition for example if we are standing at a signal and at that signal if the timing of the signal is more than 50 seconds then we should stop the engine right otherwise the fuel consumption will be higher because during the idling condition the retail mixture is supplied in the vehicle right so this is also one case for high fuel consumption during the idling and also if the timing of the signal is more than a minute then for one minute the idling mixture is used and that is being burned for our fuel consumption so idling should be as low as possible next thing is that if the engine oil is in poor condition right so if the engine oil is poor which means the quality of the engine oil is if it is used is poor then the proper lubrication in the engine will not be obtained and because of that the proper pressure will not be generated in the engine and the fuel consumption will be on the higher side on that case as well also if we are using the wrong gear right which means generally there is a guideline for shifting the gears of the vehicle for example if we are driving or starting the vehicle then we should start the vehicle in the first gear at the speed of the 20 kilometers per hour we should shift to the second gear at the third we should shift to third that goes gradual so we should drive the vehicle in the proper gears right for example if we are driving the vehicle at 40 km per hour somewhat and our gear is on the second so this is totally mismatch and in that case the fuel consumption will be higher because engine is developing an extra torque which is not being utilized so at that cost our speed is reduced and the fuel consumption is increased right second thing is the high engine oil consumption if the engine oil is consumed more than it should then the engine oil can have problem if the engine is in the poor quality if the engine oil it can create a higher oil consumption if the oil consumption is higher then the level of the oil will be reduced in no time and that level needs to be maintained at the regular intervals second thing is the increased wear of the piston assemblies right increased wear of the piston assemblies can cause the higher engine oil consumption and because of the increased wear there will be an extra clearance between them and the oil that needs to be utilized will be increased next thing is the loss of the oil rings mobility and the oil rings that we are using with the piston if the mobility or if the flexibility of that oil rings is lost then the oil will not be transferred in between those parts and the burning of oil can happen because of that the engine oil can be consumed at a higher level also if the valve stem seals don't work right there will be a seal at the valve stems and if they are not working then the oil can get inside the engine and it will be burned with our fuel and that burning will increase our consumption of the engine oil also if there are defects in the crankcase ventilation in the case of the crankcase ventilation if there is any defect then also at that point the fuel consumption sorry the oil consumption will be higher if there is a leak of the oil system then that should be repaired otherwise the oil will be consumed that we know also if the oil release into the exhaust pipe through the turbine right? this is the case of the turbocharger 
In the case of the turbocharger, if oil is getting released from the exhaust pipe to the turbine, and that turbine will consume the oil, and it will also eventually damage the other components as well. So that should be kept in mind that oil is not released from the exhaust pipe, and it should be kept running in the engine. Then the last thing is the oil release in the cooling system. If oil is leaked and it is getting mixed in the cooling system, then that oil will be wasted in the cooling system and also it will also affect the cooling system as well. So these are the points that can be the reason for the high engine oil consumption. Next thing that is also connected with our engine oil that is low engine oil pressure. The indication is given on the dashboard if the engine oil pressure is lower. That indication is shown the pressure of the engine oil is lower. The reasons can be caused if the level of the engine oil is lower. Like if the engine oil is lower than the required level, then the pressure that needs to be generated in the lubrication system will be lower. Second, if the engine is in the rear condition or because of the friction, the rear and rear, if that happen in the engine, then in that case as well, the oil will get leaked from the side of the piston and cylinder, and because of that, the pressure that needs to be generated in the engine will not be generated and the engine oil pressure will be lower. If there is a trouble with the oil pressure gauge, then also there can be cases of the low oil pressure. The gauge will not be signal to get the high pressure of the oil and that can be solved by repairing the pressure gauge. Also, if there is a trouble with the oil filter, in that case as well, the oil filter will not let the oil pass through it if there is problem in the oil filter and that can also stop or lower the pressure of the engine oil as well. And the last thing is the viscosity of the oil. If the viscosity of the oil is very much higher then the resistance between the layers of the oil will increase and because of the higher resistance the pressure that needs to be created in the engine is not getting created. So the proper quality of the oil should be used in the engine whenever we are changing or replacing the oil in the vehicle and if we are using the oil that is not good condition that can damage the components of the engine at a very long term level and at a very high level. Right. So in this video we saw uh, three problems that we connected with the engine first one was high fuel consumption and the next two was connected with the oil of the engine that is high oil consumption and second is the low engine oil pressure. The other topics will be discussed in the next video. Until then, thank you so much.